Okay, today I want to talk about character codes and code points. Now, every string that you've got, I've got a couple of variables here that have strings in them. Every string, every character in the string is represented internally as a number. Now, UTF-8, which is what we do most of the encoding on our web pages with, that is a number between 0 and 65,535. So there's this many characters that we've got available to us. Now, we have more characters than that. If you look at all the symbols for math and music and all the different languages around the world, we have more than 65,000 characters. So, code point and character codes, this is how we deal with those differences. Now, char code at, this is going to give us a number between 0 and 65,535, but that doesn't represent all the numbers. So, how do we deal with things that are beyond that number? Well, this is actually returning sort of pseudo numbers for us for anything that's bigger than this. Now, each one of these characters inside of here, these are all emojis. These are all well above the 65,000 range. And the way that those numbers get represented is this is actually two characters, this first one. And this second one is two characters. The third one is two characters. Here, I've got three numbers or sorry, three letters, A, B, and C, those are all in the normal ASCII range, so those are well below this. But this one represents two. So if I was to run this code and write out the length of this string, it's actually going to tell me that there are five characters here. So let's run that. And there we go, five. There are five characters in here because it sees this emoji as two. And that's what char code does, is it so, okay, I need to be able to deal with these things that are beyond the 65,000, so I'm going to use two characters to represent anything that's beyond that, and then I'll do some math and I'll figure out how to combine the two of them. So, chart code is great. Uh, no problems at all using it, as long as you're dealing with sort of the regular range of uh, English, Russian, Japanese characters. You're going to be inside that correct range. But once you get into emoticons and things like that, you're definitely going into that higher range. And that's where char code is going to fall apart. So you can see here, the rest of my code, I'm writing out what's at each position. Well, if there's five of them, I'm going to be able to write out char at will take a position inside of there, and it will write out what's the character. So you can see here, A and B and C came out just fine, but it didn't know what to do here. For number two and three, because combined, those make up this. If you do them separately, it comes up with, I don't know what that character is. That's a blank character as far as I'm concerned because it's part of the range that gets used to connect with the next character. Okay, so let's look at using char code at and code point at. Code point at, the cool thing about it is it will look at the character and says, oh, okay, you're in the regular range or you're in the higher range, so I'm going to take you and the guy after you and just automatically combine those to give you the right number. So we'll take, um, let's create a couple of variables here. So one for the char code at, and we'll do another one for the code point at. And we're going to take this string here, this emojis, and we'll interrogate it. We'll find out what the first character inside there is. So we'll say char code at position zero. And this one's going to be emojis code point at position zero. So I'm just saying take the first character, but I'm going to get different numbers for these. They're both looking at the first character, which, you know, at first glance, it looks like you're just talking about this emoji. But what's actually happening is char code at is only going to give you the first half of it. The first, it's not giving you this sort of empty little character. There's actually about a pixel in there that is stuck in as the second character. So let's write these out. Console.log, and we'll write out the two numbers in decimal, and then we'll also write them out in uh, hexadecimal. So to string base 16, do the other one as well. All right, save it, clear this, run it again. There we go. So 55,000, or in hex, that's what it is. And with code point at, we get a completely different number. And you can see this is beyond the 65,000. 
And that's why code point at works for values that are below and above the 65,000, which makes this a much better choice to use because we live in a world now where emojis are a regular part of anything. If you're letting people write comments on your web page or you're posting content that other people are creating, there's a fairly good chance that emojis at some point are going to become part of what they're posting. So we need to handle these bigger numbers. And that's where code point at it. 10 years ago, char code at, yeah, not a problem. Go ahead and use it and you're pretty safe. Now I would say code point at is a much better choice. And then the reverse of that, if you need to get back, So string from char code, and then we'll take this number. So we're taking this number right here, this 55,000. We're putting that in there to see what character we get back from that. And then char two, and it's from code point. And we're gonna pass in that 128,518. So we'll write out what these two characters are, char1, char2, save that, run it again, and there we go. There is the happy face coming up. It wasn't just something that the terminal couldn't do. We are actually getting the happy face. So this one worked with the code point. The first one failed. We ran it. It looked like it worked. It gave us a number, 55,357. And then we tried to convert it back. And again, we've only got half of that emoji, so it's not going to work for us. If we were to do this with this character, so if we did the same thing with str, this does work for char code at. So let's add another line in here. So we'll say cs is str dot char code at zero. So we're going to take this letter A to see what we get. And we'll write it out in decimal and hex. So 97 is the decimal, 61 is the hex value. So we, we got the number for CS. And then we'll try and convert it back here. So we'll say char 3 string dot from char code and we'll pass in that number cs console dot log char three and we should get our letter a back there it is so we did get the letter a back so oh sorry this <laughs> did code point uh, well that's a good demonstration actually that it did work for a code point at but char code will work for this one as well because the number was under 65,535, either one is going to work for this character. There we go. So the A came up again. So this does work. All right. And those are the methods. Char code at, code point at. And note that these, these are prototype methods. So this is the variable in front. And these are right on the string object themselves. So you do have to put the word string in front of these. So code point at and from code point, those are the two that you're going to want to be using from this point on. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.